Reformation is a remarkable moment where they wanted reformation within the church and the reformers never thought to have a reformation outside of the church. What did the reformation bring? It has brought us the meaning of freedom, that we are liberated by God's grace. And this notion of freedom has changed the whole Europe to be what it is today and has made us to understand the real meaning of freedom that human being has been created free with dignity. So what does this mean to the Middle East? Liberated by God's grace means that you carry a message in a patriarchal society in the Middle East that is built on merits. You are bringing the idea of a grace. We brought the Arab translation of the whole Bible to the whole Middle East. Secondly, we brought education. And that was very remarkable because education in the 19th century was not there. And until today, we believe, we believe that education is our direct mission. Education is the one that transforms human being to becoming justified and free. And that is very... Thirdly, we have brought gender justice. Gender justice to the Middle East. Well, for example, my church. Last year, we have decided to make an ecclesiastical court for family issues, for marriage, separation, divorce, inheritance, adoption, that is built on full gender justice. It's the first one in the Middle East. And people told me, oh, it will not go through. But you know, that is the meaning of being justified by faith. You swim always against the wave. You don't swim with the wave that is unjust. You give justice to every human being. And that is the strength of gender justice. And this is the reason my church is still committed and still will work in gender justice everywhere. Gender justice is not only, you know, it is not only, you know, a motto or a jargon. It is to implant it in the life of the church. And that is because of reformation. So for me, reformation has transformed me. Transform me to be free and liberated by God's grace. And as you know, Guterres has said, it converted me to the neighbor. To understand the needs of the neighbor and to understand that every neighbor has a dignity and must have life and life abundantly.